definitely tremendous figure, tremendous figure. The film uh, was not released for several years. Um, I remember that you shoot in 2006, 2007. Uh, but what happened that you you released the film after uh, a long time ago that you shoot? And why you don't you, you don't uh, do it in the in the uh, very first year after the sh uh, the film? Well, there were several factors, um, Raphael. The most mitigating, sorry about that. We're living in the days of online everything. The most uh, mitigating of factors uh, was that the, uh, that the street, the, the uh, mafia tried to steal the film. Uh, they had broken into our office uh, they had expressed a, a tremendous interest and were trying to take the film by force because at the time uh, you didn't have the social media distribution that, that you do now. And uh, they wanted to sell it as uh, DVDs uh, throughout the country. And, um, they, and they wanted to take it. Uh, furthermore, we had a financial commitment to Jack Veneno and uh, that commitment had to be completed. And, uh, it, you know, so we had to make sure that that film was not stolen uh, uh, by the mob, which is exactly what they tried to do. They broke into our office to try and get the film and, uh, and did everything possible to, to get their hands on it. Uh, another factor about that film was that uh, the uh, at the time, Caribbean Cinemas, which is a, a Puerto Rican company that operates throughout Dominican Republic. At the time, they were the big distributor and they were not set up to uh, display digital uh, video in the theaters. They only used a film and uh, the they needed tremendous uh, amounts of, of money and resources to be able to put the film in all the theaters it had to actually be on a 35 millimeter film to play in the theaters and the costs were astronomical, you know, several hundred thousand U.S. dollars. Uh, so it, it was those two factors, but more so that they, they tried to steal the film. And uh, but it was released. The, the movie was always supposed to be for for the people and um, a couple of years after we had completed it, I was always planning to release it. And uh, I was actually in negotiation to release it uh, in theaters. Uh, when they started moving to the digital format, uh, we were starting to, to do that. Um, and then I had a phone call from, I believe it was one of Relampago Hernandez's daughters, Although I might be mistaken, it may have been his niece, right? El Sobrina. Uh, pero ella llamara mi media la noche aquí uh, in New York. He pregunta me. She said, please, um, I understand that you have some uh, video footage uh, of my father or my uncle. And I would really like to know him. I'm, I'm almost 100% certain that she said he was her father and it, it's like a light bulb went off in my head and I remembered and I think you remembered I'm not sure if you were there when we filmed the scene with Relampago but um, Relampago agreed to do the film on the condition that he could have a few minutes to say what it, you know anything he wanted and that it would make it in the film and I said absolutely say whatever you want you know and um he opened up his part and said, my name is Rolapago Hernandez, Nacio in Puerto Plata, Republica Dominicana. And he wanted to say hi to his family. He said, I'm saying hi to my family in New York. And I want to let them know that uh, I'm doing good down here. And I love you very much. And uh, it just hit me. And I said, you know what? That's reason enough to release this film because, we're, you know, Look, we don't do these things to 
with money is the main objective, you know, and and uh, so that's that was the real reason that I just put it out there on social media. It was always meant to be for the people. And I said, you know what, it's just it's time. And uh, and Jack was Jack was really uh, happy when we did it. You know, he he was happier that, that we put that film out there for all the people to see um, than charging for it. And maybe a lot of people couldn't see it because it wouldn't be available, wouldn't be in in their hometown theater, or they wouldn't have services like Netflix, et cetera, that would allow them to watch it. So Jack was really happy that everyone could just go watch it for free. He talked about that quite a bit. 